Hello, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me. Can you please type in the chat box if you can hear and see me okay? I am so excited to have you guys here tonight. And I'm so excited to introduce Beth. I do not see her on yet, so we'll give her a minute. How's everybody's night going? And I need to open up the chat. I don't see any of you and what you're saying. So please type in the chat box if you don't mind. I would love. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sherry. Sherry, looks, you look so awesome. Okay, I just heard from her via email. Let me see what's going on. Oh, uh, takes me to register. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Yay, Cheryl Strait, hello. Denise, hello. Jody, hello. I know so many of these names so well. So it is very exciting to have you guys on tonight. Will you tell everyone? where you are coming from. So what state you're zooming in on. And Tiffany, welcome. Awesome, awesome. We have such a great speaker tonight that I am so excited for you guys. Like over the top excited. All right, so we've got Sandy from Virginia, Vicki from Michigan, Jody from Maryland, Cheryl from Minnesota. Sandy from North Carolina, another Sandy. Sheree from Florida. Sheree, do I pronounce that right? I swear I know I've asked you that before. <laughs> Denise from Oregon. Oh, good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, you guys, we are just waiting to get her in. Let me make sure she is coming. And let me see who is here. Let me make sure she's on. Give me one minute. All right. Oh, she is here. All right. I see you, Beth. Yay. OK, the only thing I can't see is you, your beautiful face. Can you put your camera on? And I think we will be good to go. We went through this yesterday, so I know we will have it. Oh, good. I see you. I still don't see you, though. It says, I cannot start my video because the host has disabled it. Let me. Oh, yep. Sorry about that. Wow. It's still not letting me for some reason. Are you there? Let's uh -huh. see if we can do that. Oh. Try now. Oh, yay. Yay, we did it. <laughs> yay. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. So excited. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a background about Beth, but I have to tell you, and I didn't tell her this yesterday, is she, um, we, you know, I always do a test run to make sure that we've got our cameras working and our mics working and everything is going well. And I just instantly, like, I seriously wanted to come through the camera and give you a hug. Like, she's so personable and warm and you just love her like the instant you meet her you have that charm so i'm super excited to introduce beth from colorado springs and i'm going to share her accolades and then i've got lots of questions she has so much to share with you guys and some very exciting things that i know you'll love so Beth was a former esthetician and cosmetologist, and you can see it. Look at her makeup. It's gorgeous. And she started Mary Kay in 2010 on her mom's 30th anniversary, who her mom is the Inner Circle Senior National Sales Director, Darlene Bergeron. 
Am I pronouncing that right, Beth? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, good. She debuted as a director in 2012. She has won two free cars and is working on the third, two-time court of sales, one-time court of sharing. Those are huge accolades and accomplishments. And the destination red achiever for the Bahamas cruise, she took her husband in 2019 on. How awesome is that? And she said, well, I'm going to let her actually share what she has done as far as Book It Pink and leads and everything else. But you guys, she's very consistent. She is absolutely amazing. Like I said, she just is so warm and personal. You just like want to be in her space. Um, so I'm so excited, Beth, to have you on. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Just like listening to all of those. I'm like, who is she talking about? Um, it goes by <laughs> so fast, right? Um, well, I, I did get started in 2010 and um, I was actually living in Miami and my mom was in Colorado Springs at the time. And thank God for our adoptee program, right? So um, yeah. Ori Hathaway ended up being my adopted director. Now she's a national and just loved her, loved seeing how people did things differently in Mary Kay, um, other than just my mom growing up. Um, and then I actually ended up moving back home um, in June. She ended up getting sick with cancer and, you know, people think that a national's daughter would know exactly what to do, um, like just growing up in Mary Kay. And um, to be honest, I never saw my mom do a facial at, at all. And to everybody else I wanted to recruit when I started, you know, my mom had already recruited her face shoulder somewhere down the line. Um, and then, you know, it was just, I was kind of on my own, which is the way that Mary Kay is kind of meant to be, you know, you really just figure it out, it's not hard. And so when I moved back to Colorado, um, Springs, I didn't know anybody and I had just started my business and the people that I did know before I had left, um, left, you know, graduated high school were already, you know, married, had kids or off college doing something. And so I really needed to find leads and I don't, I think my senior director, Donna Jo Sellis was the one who, um, referred me to you originally and I was telling Kelly yesterday about how nervous I was when I first was making the calls, the cold calls, and I would have like all my scripts and like my paper printed out. And sometimes I would get on the phone and just like say everything and then want to hang up. <laughs> and if they would respond, I would just be like, oh, you, okay, yeah, let's do this. And so over, I've been doing this 11 years now and it does get easier. If you're doing, if you're on this call and you're doing this, you know, like for the first time when you're calling people and you're nervous, that's the way it's supposed to feel. If you don't feel nervous, I don't know something's wrong with you, you know? Um, and so let me just turn this off really quick. There you go. Um, so I, I will share with you my systems, but I have been using Book It Pink for about 11 years. And I am very consistent when I want to be, but there is, you do have to do the phone calls. And that is the number one most important way to get the bookings, not only to get the bookings, but to hold the bookings, to fireproof your appointments and um, to build those relationships with those people. Um, I was telling Kelly yesterday that one of my original brides, the one that I wanted to hang up with on the phone. <laughs> when she answered um she booked with me she, we had a great party she was one of my first qualified new team members um when I went into DIQ and so we had lost touch and I actually we had just gotten connected again and she's having another party for me and um on the 19th so you know how you know it's just how you're building those relationships and they can be rekindled if you have a strong foundation to begin with. Um, and that's just, you know, sales 101, finding relatability, using their name, 
repeating things. Um, now I, I'm going to give you a couple of tools that, um, like I was reading on my questions of what I'm supposed to actually say, is um, to fireproof those appointments and, and new tools that we have, updated things. Um, even my, you know, the book that I had when I joined Mary Kay in 2010, I think is pretty much obsolete now. You know, we've, we've, we've changed so much. And so, and now we have the virtual, we have the in-person, we have the hybrid, you can do one or the other, you can do both. Uh, and there's just so many options and there's so many options to, to offer the brides. Um, so my I story and you pretty much know that already. And, um, you know, what, what, what has been the best about Book It Pink really is learning how to do this business. And you're, it's a numbers business, of course, um, but the practice is key in practicing what you're going to say when they answer the phone and, you know, being relatable. Um, I, I get a lot of questions that we're just saying, you know, how, um, what do you say when they answer the phone that you don't feel like such a, a spam, you know, like a scam, they don't think it's real, right? Yeah, well, telemarketer. yeah, like a telemarketer. So I do call first always. And I have found that if, you know, cause I've gotten the, the nervousness and the procrastinating, you know, like, well, just they're not, they don't want to pick up the phone. I'm just going to text all these 90 leads that I have and not get any bookings. You know, it's just, it, you have to call them first. And so, you know, I will tell you my system, what I do. So I give them a call. If they answer the phone, I say, hi, this is Beth with the bridal registry and Mary Kay. I have you as one of my VIP brides getting married this September 16th, 2021. Is that correct? Number one, I asked that question because I was asking, do you have a minute? I will ask that in a second, but initially to have them answer, we have their information. Kelly gives you their wedding date, their address, you know, their email, if that's what you choose to get and their first and last name. And, you know, that is priceless information. You want to customize within seven seconds, what you can do when they answer the phone. So if they're, if, if, if I was to get a call like that, cause I'm a bride right now that said that I was getting married this September 3rd, I'd be like, wow, sh yeah, I'll listen. And then I ask, do you have a minute? Is this a good time? And usually they're like, yeah, um, great. Or, or no, I'll call you back. So I'll tell you what I do for either one. If they say, yeah, this is, this is great. I say, great. Well, congratulations on your upcoming wedding. Is this, you know, and especially now making these phone calls. Um, again, I am a bride, so I can relate. My wedding was postponed three times. This is my fifth time planning it. I have empathy. I have, I know what these brides have gone through um, in 2020. And so I kind of just, just ask a couple of questions, just like, oh my gosh, is this your first wedding date or is this the postponed one? You know, and just start to laugh and and just talk slow, like don't just like throw up all over them. Give them a chance to answer and give them a chance to talk because they will. And um, so I say, you know, is this, is this a, your first, is this your second time go around? Did something get canceled? Oh yeah, I understand. You, I, I'm so sorry that happened to you, but I'm so grateful that you're able to do this this year. And listen, every month we select a VIP bride. I partner up with a bridal registry in Mary Kay, and we're able to give a one lucky bride a full bridal experience for free. And it includes a complimentary um, custom facial makeover for products that are formulated for your skin type. You get to pick your palettes, your colors, we get to customize all of that. It'll probably take about an hour, depending on how much fun we have. And hey, if you want to in invite a girlfriend or two, that's fine as well. And now I'm saying, and, and guess what? We are actually, I'm actually offering in-person appointments now as well. What do you feel comfortable with? So not only have I given her an option 
you know, of meeting in person or online. Um, and I've done a hybrid of that too. Just the other week, I, we, I did a bride, we were doing stuff together and then zoomed her maid of honor in that was in Arizona. And so she could be there with her. Right. Um, but you've given her the option of, of, you know, does she want all the colors and the, like, you've already given her all the, the visuals, if you will, you know, like, again, I always think if somebody was to call me and what were they going to say that would actually get me in? And if you said that, I'd be like, Oh God, I got, you got me thinking, you got them thinking like, wow, I didn't even think about my colors or, you know, and then I, I say, and you get to pick charcoal mask or a microderm abrasion treatment. I always throw that in because, um, people know basically what those are and they're an extra special treatment that we can offer. And I just say, this is all free for you. It's complete, completely complimentary. And guess what? At the end, you get a $20 gift certificate to spend. That's what I usually do. Um, and that's $10 out of my pocket. And usually they, it, it, they spend more than that anyway. Um, and at least that they're, you know, I feel like at least I'm giving them something also besides my service. And just to begin with, just knowing what these brides have, have um, been through and knowing that you can provide them this service and that, you know, having that gift, you know, for them, um, knowing that you are gonna, going to give this gift to them. I think that that is so key instead of just calling them thinking that you're bugging them. You know, this is something that they actually want more than ever before, more than ever. Um, because last year was, was so hard on a lot of different, in a lot of different ways, you know? Um, and then from there, you know, she'll, I'll just say, are you familiar with Mary Kay? Um, she'll say yes or no. I'll say, oh, do you have a beauty consultant taking care of you already? Um, no, great. Just didn't want to take you away from anybody. And, and then we just go into, you know, booking, you know, and just never ask a yes or no question. Try to stay away from those and just say, you know, generally what works better for you weekends, weekdays. Um, and then you, you have to know your schedule as well. Um, and so there's three things. And again, you can do, I also have my pen and paper with me. But I have found that I can procrastinate if I don't have my little, my big old notebook with me. And nowadays you can literally work wherever. You just need Wi-Fi, right? I mean, or cell service of some sort. And so I'm going to teach you this on an iPhone. But if you have an Android or whatever other thing, you can pretty much, you know, navigate through these instructions. Okay. So first, um, okay. So first I call them. All right. Number one, if it's a wrong number or if they pick up and it's the wrong number, or if it's disconnected in the wrong number, whatever you're going to. So first of all, you're going to log into your, um, book it pink website and go to your downloads and go to the leads that you're wanting to call which all your downloads are there. So you could literally, even if you're not in your office, go through the past couple you know, months of downloads and knock out a couple hours of leads if you have time. You know? um, but what I'm gonna share is, um, is something that I play a game with myself with. So basically I get a, around a hundred leads per time and I try to play a game with myself. I don't do the 10 leads a day. I just try and get it knocked out as fast as possible um, and like go take a bubble bath afterwards, you know, like I just like bam, 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 the fastest I can get it done. Um, and so this is why I love this system so much. So you're going to log in. And did you know that your downloads are actually hyperlinked on your phone? So yes, you would just press your screen for the, on the phone number that you want to call and it will call. And then I fluctuate back and forth. So I use my home home button. And so I press the home button twice and then it will go back to the, to the leads that I'm looking at. So now I'm looking at Susie Q 
whose address is this, and she's getting married this date. And so I have her on speakerphone and I'm, I'm, if she answers, then I have the things to say, right? But if she doesn't answer, if it's the wrong number, go back to the bridal lead list, her name, press on the hyperlink of their phone number and go copy phone number. And then I use my notepad. You can use a draft email. You can use whatever else you want. Um, but I like to use my notepad on my iPhone. And so I'll then I'll paste the uh, wrong number with her name in a notepad. And on the top, it'll just say wrong numbers. Okay. And then I will keep the list of wrong numbers. Underneath, it'll say yeses or maybes. And then the bottom, it'll say noes. So I've got the three sections right here. Okay, all on the digital notepad. Okay, so every wrong number that I get, immediately copy and paste, put wrong number, bam. All right. Now, the cool thing is that when she says, uh, or when, um, let's say she's like, oh, this is the right number, but guess what? I'm really interested. I just, I'm going on vacation. Can you call me back this day, this time? Yes, I can, Susie Q. Take her number, copy it, paste it into my maybes, say what we talked about. Susie Q is getting married this day. She lives in Denver. Uh, we talked about cake, bridal cake, whatever, and call her back on this day at this time. Then, so you've got your calendar, your notepad, and your bridal leads out on your screen, right? You're fluctuating between these three screens on your phone. It's all on your phone. You go to your calendar. You put Susie, you go to that date that she's told you to call her back. And you go, call Susie Q on this date. And then you set a little reminder, okay? So now not only do you have, after you go through all of your leads, not only do you have your list, of people to call the next day the, of the yeses and their, or the maybes, you know, with their phone number, what you talked about and what day to call them back in your notes. So you have your li list of people to call, but you also have a reminder on your calendar to call them back. So two ways, and you can also put it in your notebook, of course, you know, um, and to take notes during it, doing it that way. Um, Let's see, there was something else. Oh, and if she books with you, so then after you book, you get off the phone, so excited, you pre-profile her. I always just say, right when I get off the phone, Susie, I'm gonna send you a quick text, just send you my name, so you know I'm legit with my website, and then, um, and then confirm the date and time. I use Google calendars, so I will actually go to my calendar, put the event in there, the appointment, excuse me, and then I will invite her because you already have her email, you know, probably if you're using the email leads, if you don't have the email leads and you're just doing phone, you definitely want to get their email before you get off the phone. Just say, hey, I'll just send you some quick information. So we're all set, you know, for that date and that time. So that's another way that I fireproof the appointments. Um, but the reason I do it this way is because, um, Kelly gives you credit for the wrong leads. And so, and it's, she probably notices it's usually right before, like the night before the ordering opens that I'll send you like the list of all the, <laughs> the wrong numbers, right? Um, because I wanna get that credit for the next time that I order and it saves exponentially. And she's so gracious about giving you those credits. So be diligent and just use a great system where it can save you a lot of time. And I was saying that I, I could probably sit down and do, it depends on how many wrong numbers and how many people answer the phone, but like around 90 leads, maybe an hour and a half, you know, I'm trying to do as fast as possible. And, you know, sometimes if they're like, you know what, I don't know. I don't know. Who is this? I'm just like, okay, thanks girl. Bye. You know, whatever moving on, moving on, you know? So you don't want to book with that person anyway. Oh my God, no way. Um, so it definitely weeds out the people that you probably don't want to come, 
you know, to do a facial or have over to your house or whatever. Um, let's see. Am I doing good so far? Let me know if I haven't answered some questions. You're doing awesome, Beth. I yeah. think the biggest one that I can think of right now is, um, so how, I know that this will be a question and you guys, we will, if you can write down your questions at the very end, if that sounds good to you, Beth, we will definitely answer some questions that we can. Um, the biggest one that I can think about is how are you getting a hold of them and what time of the days are you working to do that? Because I know a lot of people say, and I've seen this before, is that people don't answer the phone if they don't know the number. So how are you getting around that? So, um, you know, I have found that between the hours of four and six o'clock, you can start at three, but they're gonna tell you to call back after five if they answer. Um, and so honestly, I've kind of scheduled my day, you know, we're in sales. And if you want to actually have people answer the phone at sales 101, you call people from four to seven o'clock at night. That's what you do. And that's when people answer the phone. And it's always been that way. And, you know, some people there, but it just, you just have to call, you can, you know, you can't just make 10 calls and be like, well, nobody answered. So, um, it's really calling everybody. And then if they don't answer and you text them, let's, oh, cause that was the other thing I kind of, uh, um, left out, but I have a script, you know? So if they don't answer, let's say they're, you know, they have like a generic, um, answering machine. I, I probably don't leave a message unless they say, Hey, it's Sarah. And I'm like, okay, this was Sarah that I called. Hey, Sarah, this is Beth with the bridal registry and Mary Kay. And, and then I always say, I'm going to shoot you a quick text just to follow up. So I leave a voicemail, leave a text. If it's a generic voicemail, I generally don't leave a voicemail for them because I don't know really truly if it is that person. So I'll just send a text. And I have that script. Like I'll go back and forth between my text messages and um, copy and paste, you know, copy and paste the, the message um, and just change the name and change the wedding date. Hi, Carly, this is Beth, blah, 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 blah. Is this the right bride to be getting married September 26th? Send. And so, you know, that tech, I called and texted her only one time only one time. And so when you go back through your leads, you can actually, um, you know, read, recall those people, at least, you know, they, we say three to five times. Um, but I don't even think I get that far. And I'm, to be honest, you know, because there's always so many new leads coming in and, um, you know, we can always go back to it. So I just would say, do, you know, if you're able to schedule time when people are actually able to answer the phone, um, I know Fridays are really good, Friday afternoons. Um, I used to wait till Friday afternoons and then something would come along and I'd be like, oh no, let's go, let's have fun. And then I wouldn't do it. And then I'd be like, oh, wait till next Friday afternoon. And then something else fun came along and I didn't do it. And I was like, Beth, you got to get it together, girl. And I was like, I'm just doing it. I'm just going to do it. And the week, weekday evenings, you know, when people are actually home. Um, and, you know, if it's if they if you call and it's not a good time, they will tell you either call back at another time or whatever. And so does that kind of answer that one, I think there was a two part to that question. Yeah, but. Absolutely. Well, I think, oh yeah, it did. I think the only other question. So can you just say one more time, what exactly do you say? So when you've called them and you get their voicemail, what do you text them again? Can you say that yeah. kind of slowly? Cause I know yeah. someone's saying, this is so awesome. And I'm <laughs> trying, but I'm trying to write so fast. So yeah. No problem. Um, I, I, so I say, hi, Julie, this is Beth. I'm with the bridal registry and Mary Kay. And I always put exclamation points cause that's just who I am, you know? Um, so this is Beth with the bridal registry and Mary Kay. Um, congratulations on your upcoming wedding. 
Um, I know I have it saved, but let me just, I can actually read to you right now. Um, bridal registry and Mary Kay, congratulations on your upcoming wedding. You are one of our VIP brides selected to receive a complimentary bridal package and gift certificate, exclamation point. And then I just say, is this the right bride to be getting married on this date? Question mark. That's it. That's good. Love it. So, yeah. And then when I was saying you can go back, so you're, if you're going to call or text this person again, that you've already sent that original text to, you can be like, oh, I already sent them in that form, in that way, with the words that way. And then let's say I, I will call them back. And if they don't answer, I'll send them another text. And it's just a follow-up text. And it basically just says, hey, Julie, Hope you're having a great day. This is Beth with the Bridal Registry of Mary Kay. Just wanted to reach out and make sure you got my message from before. Um, you still have this gift certificate to redeem and just wondering if it's better to call you or text you. You can literally say anything at the end there. You can say, um, you know, is this, you can say, is it better to, uh, it better to call you or I do use that one a lot. It's better to call you or text you with the details. Um, sometimes I'll just go right into it. I'll just say, Hey, just want to make sure you got my message. Um, this is a complimentary, um, pampering package. You can get your facial makeover and gift certificate. And then I'll just go do you, weekends or weekdays work better for you in general, you know, um, going to try this person hopefully five times um so you're going to want to change up your lingo and there are a lot of scripts on your website too kelly because that's basically what i use um i just try to do different ones if i'm contacting the same person but usually the first one initially is always hey it's beth bridal registry and mary Kay. congratulations um you know you always want to thank a person or make them feel important and then you know specialize in that date and is this the right bride to be getting married on this date? Love that. So. I love a couple of things that you talked about. One is I love that you use the lingo VIP because that makes <laughs> everyone feel very important, right? I mean, that's right. what you're telling them is, ooh, I'm a VIP. So that immediately puts them into a I feel really special category. And I love how you're using the lingo that you assume the appointment. You're not asking, do you want to do this? And um, I love how you word the actual appointment and what's going to happen. I think so many times, and hopefully everyone gets this, is you've got to glamorize what you're doing. They have to envision this appointment. And I've talked about this before in training, but it's so important that you know and catch this part is assuming that they want to do it because why wouldn't they? And also glamorizing what's going to happen for them. And you do that all so beautifully, Beth. So thank you. I love that. Well, thank you. Again, it's really um, reminding yourself the gift that you're giving them and knowing again, like, I would want this, you know, I would personally want this. So I'm not offering something that I personally wouldn't like. I'm offering something I truly believe in and I know that they will benefit from it. And I was telling Kelly yesterday, um, I had a party two Saturdays ago and it was one of my first in-person like cold lead parties, you know, cause um, Denver just kind of has been opening up slowly again. and um, people want to connect. People are wanting to be like, have that human connection. People are wanting in-person appointments again. And this is somebody who I never met, went and did a, a party for her, her best friend and her mom. And they were so appreciative. I mean, like, oh, I just put a hot towel on their face and they would think I was, you know, you know, like, 
the, the best person ever, like Mother Teresa or something. And, uh, you know, the sales were over 420 bucks. It was a great, it was a great party. I rebooked her for another party on July 3rd. Um, and she is looking into the business opportunity as well. Um, they were just so, so appreciative. And that makes, of course, like, why do we do what we do? Because we love to help others. And we love that satisfaction of hearing them go, ah, oh, yes, I never get to do this. Oh, I feel beautiful. You can't take that mirror away from them. You know, I mean, it's just, that's, that's like why we do what we do you know. So I've got to interject in there because that is such a key importance that you are touching on. That is also so important to learn is that you just said this, Beth, is that why wouldn't they want to do it? And if you want to do it, they want to do it. And so, you know, by telling them and expressing like, you guys have to be excited about this and realize the value you're giving. I mean, if it was done in any salon, you'd literally be paying two to $300 and it's all. I know. <laughs> right? yeah. Yep. At least, you know, and then the, the person doesn't even get, I think the last salon, cause I did here too. I made 8% commission. Oh, that is just, that's sick. You know, we all make 50% and we get to design our own schedule, our own lives have more freedom than we've ever had before by having the virtual parties as well. And we still get to do what we love to do during this whole pandemic, you know, yeah. um, now even more so than ever. So yeah, I've, of course I'm excited about it, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you said one other thing that I love is that, and we were talking about this yesterday is it is such a prime time right now, because like you said, everyone has been suffering with COVID, has been stuck in the house. You are giving them the opportunity of a lifetime. Literally, not only do they want to be pampered and spoiled and like just talk to people because we've been cooped up, but they also, there are so many people hurting right now. They need to make money. You guys have a perfect storm. Yeah. Seriously. Really? Yeah. And when you get those calls, you don't remember the nose. Like that girl that I booked, um, that I did that party for, she could not even believe. She's like, are you serious? Is this like, I've, I've never won anything. I, well, I'm going to invite my mom and I know she's going to love it too. And you know, like those responses there, it's just, everything happens for a reason, right? I made another phone call to this bride, the one I did on the, we had the hybrid where we zoomed in her friend and I was calling and she actually answered the phone and, and I told her, you know, what I was calling for. And she's like, this is so weird because I never answer the phone. And the second reason is because I'm actually talking with my maid of honor right now, my Zoom, like I'm Zooming with her right now. And I was on the phone booking her with her maid of honor and, you know, which, you know, things happen if you just go with the flow, like if they, you know, if things, you just have to keep going. That's why I'm saying just go as fast as possible. Um, not when you're talking to people, um, but just when you're going through the leads, because you'll get to those golden nuggets and you'll be like, wow, there's a reason that, you know, we were supposed to be connected. So absolutely. absolutely. I love to and I I can already see this in you, Beth. And this is one other, I just keep getting these different, you know, things that are so important is you guys, and you can see it in everything that Beth does, is she truly wants to help others. And when you can step outside of yourself and not look at that appointment as, hey, what can they give to me, right? What are my cells going to be? What can they give to me? But instead, if you can look at it truly as how can I make this person feel special? How can I make their day? How can I make them feel like, you know, oh my goodness, I haven't felt like this in a long time. And you can see that in how Beth does her appointments. I can already tell that's where you'll have great success. Would you agree, Beth? Absolutely. You know, I mean, again, it just, it goes back to 
how I would want to be treated. You know, that's how Mary Kay got started. And we already have great training, to be honest. You know, we already have that great foundation of making people feel important and all of those wonderful things. So, yeah. Awesome. You're right. I love it. I love it. Okay. I have another question to ask you how, because I know people are going to ask me this. Uh -huh. You are consistently having, it sounds like, anywhere from three to $600 appointments. What would you say, can you share, what are you doing to make that happen? Um, you mean as far as like my parties, what I do during my parties? Yes. Um, wow. I, well, um, I just do a regular... Um, you know, like a regular party, specifically, um, you know, if we're, hold on, I'm charging my phone. No. Um, well, yes. Yeah, so after I get them, well, I mean, obviously everything that we're trained to do, but just with some new tools, after I hang up with them, I send them my, um, my website and my name. And then I send them a Google calendar link so that they know that it's on their calendar too. Um, and then I pre-profile them while they're on the phone. So basically I'm asking them what skin type that they are, if they're normal, dry, combination or oily. I'm asking them what they currently use as far as their skincare right now. And I'm in Denver, so they're like, well, I don't even wear makeup, you know? And I'm like, do you wash your face? So I want to know what they use, right? If they use Estee Lauder or if they use Maybelline or if they use dirt, I want to know. And so, um, and then we decide where we're meeting. We have their address. Sometimes they want to meet at a friend's house. I make sure I've got the address down. Um, and then I do ask them again, like I said, do you want to try a microdermabrasion treatment or a charcoal mask? And just to let y'all know, Microdermabrasion is what got me into Mary Kay because I was an esthetician at a med spa doing microdermabrasion and I had horrible acne and I said I would never do Mary Kay and you guys are probably cringing right now and my mom was like oh we try this new microderm that we came out with and I was like that's cute I'll try and it completely healed my skin. The greatest thing about it is the real aluminum oxide crystals that they use in the real med spas machines. Um, this is just done manually instead of with a machine. Um, same thing, same thing. And it's 55 bucks and there's 38 treatments in there. I mean, how can you go wrong? Right? So I, I love being able to provide that spa, like true spa, like in home, you know, kind of feeling, um, to them. And then, so I asked them what they want to try this or that, um, ask them who they want to invite a girlfriend or two. I always start there and then it can get bigger if they want. And I let them know about the, they're already going to get a gift certificate, but if they have two or more, they can earn more hostess credit. You can stop me if I'm going too fast, but you know, it's just all the basics. It's all the basics that we are taught to do. Um, if it's, if you're not, familiar with it, just write it down so you can cover all those points and make sure you got all those points covered before you hang up the phone. Um, when I'm there, you know, honestly, I'm not a script person. I really just like to get to know them. I ask them a bajillion questions and I just let them talk. And all I do, I, and you know what, sometimes they're just talking so much that I can't even, you know, talk to say what they're putting on their face that's okay. Let them talk. Sometimes, you know, that party that I did, I hadn't talked so much that in like one day before, because I had done a couple of things, a couple of appointments before that. And by the end of the day, I was like, I can't, I can't talk anymore. Let them talk, you know, because they want to have fun. They really don't care what they're putting on their face, you know, to be honest with you. Um, the more connection, the more fun you're having, um, you know, get little tidbits here and there. Okay, let me tell you what you put in your face. Okay, now, and then I'll go around and help them. Um, I do like the hot towels. Oh man, if you don't have, like just go to Target and get those regular hot towels or regular like little hand towels. 
And then I just go and get them hot in the, in the sink, like really hot. I used to like bring a cooler and I used to do a lot of stuff. I don't do that anymore. So, and then I actually will go around, they put the cleanser on, they do, well, now I do the micellar water first and then the eye makeup remover. Um, and then I do the cleanser and the microderm if they wanted the microderm. Um, so they take off the eye makeup remover, the micellar water, they put the cleanser on and then they actually put the microderm on right over that. And then usually at that point, I'll go around before the hot towel with the brush, the skincare brush and put it on their hand and just like have them try, oh, this, this is what would be on your face if we were doing this in, at home in the bathroom right now. That's not that kind of party, you know, we're here right now. And so then I'm just like, okay, everybody sit back. And then I just go ahead and I put the hot towel. So you go behind them. This is my esthetician days. But yes, yeah, so you go behind them and very, very gently, you're going to lay it on their face and you put one palm here, one palm here, like barely even touching. And then just let it go, like barely even touching them. And then I say, okay, now take your hands and put them on your face and go, ah. Oh. And then they all do that and they go, oh my God, this is amazing it's the best thing ever, you know? And plus it's even better for the products to work because the pores are opening up because of the heat. So the, you'll get better results and they'll feel better. Um, after that, you know, I just follow with the pore minimizer, day or night eye cream. Um, and then all I do, so I always do two appointments. So I always let them know this one is just skincare because on your big day, that is what's going to be the shining star. The makeup is going to look great because of the skincare. And I am so obsessed with skincare that we hardly ever do makeup. Like the makeup that we do is basically, I say it's the dash out the door because of two things. Number one, it's just the CC cream. I think I do the liquid eyeshadow. I used to do the cream. And then uh, mascara and, and, uh, lip gloss, right? That's an everyday look. So you've already sold them on an everyday look. Then you're like, when I come back, we can do the full makeover. We've got all this done now and we can build on this natural go-to look. And I will tell you some brides are like, no, I just, I don't want any more makeup than this. Like, this is great. And then there's some brides like, okay, great. Well, I like this look. I see what you mean about starting somewhere instead of just putting all their all this makeup on their face, right? At least starting with that, the basics, you know, the very, very basics. And guess what? Your sales are going to be so high because you're basically selling them, you know, skincare and an everyday use up look. The first appointment. The next appointment, you know, you're really booking in for more glamour or, you know, you can do the eye patches or the naturally oil, you know, something else special skincare wise too, because again, the patches you are going to have for your big day, the naturally oil you want, you want that, you want that dewy look. So you can't do everything at the first appointment. You want it to be at least an hour. I mean, an hour and a half, two hours is the most. But, um, again, you don't want to be like rushing and trying to get out the door too. So, because that's a huge thing because they can feel you rushing. So, you know, I, now that I'm doing things in person again, I try not to schedule things back to back to back. Like I used to, because I have no idea how long it'll take these, they're having so much fun. You can only do so much. You're only one person. And then, you know, after you do the, the, basic makeover, you're, you're doing the group clothes, you're doing the individual clothes, you're rebooking them, you're sharing the opportunity either with the link, either if you have a, a link that you send out for a free lip gloss or something like that. Um, and then I leave. So, I mean, book, sell, rebook, and team build, right? Yeah. I love it. Love it. I love um, also how knowledgeable you are about the products. And especially when you were describing the microderm abrasion, I think that makes a big difference because people then are, you know, and you don't have to know everything. You don't have to know every product, 
but just explaining like the difference of why they would want to use microdermabrasion. Like I got excited again. I'm like, hey, I need to use that again. I've had it before. I'm sure I have it on my shelf, but I haven't used it. So it's very exciting. Yeah. Thank you. And just to, to go off of that too, it's like, I always said no to Mary Kay for, with my mom because I was like, I can't sell anything. I mean, what? what? I don't want to be a salesperson. And she'd be like, Bethy, can you just teach women how to wash their face? And it changed my whole life, you know, because I don't feel like a salesperson. I do feel like a teacher. I do feel like I'm helping them. And so when I'm teaching them about the products, I'm like, oh, when I tell all my brides, like, you want to act like you do this like a full-time job, even if it's not, I tell all my brides to do the microderm down here, especially if you're wearing your dress. Oh, what does your dress look like? Is it strapless? What color is it? I also ask them to wear a color of, of their dress. The first appointment I ask them to wear, is it, you know, what's white ivory black? I don't know. I did a Halloween wedding one time. Yeah. So, um, that is, and it, again, it's like getting them visualizing in the seat too, but also I don't feel like a salesperson, you know, I feel like I'm, you know, teaching them life skills really. <laughs> so well, it makes all the difference in the world. It's going back to, you know, what we were just talking about is, are you looking to just get something from someone? Or are you looking to add value to them? Yes. And it's the same concept is if you can teach them I mean, anyone can be a great teacher. They can. And I think that makes all the difference. I love that. Love it. Thank yes. you. All right. Are there any other things that you can think of that you want to share before we open it up for questions? Is there anything that you can think of that I you think I've shared too much, baby? I don't know. <laughs> you, oh my goodness. You did amazing. I know everyone on here is going to be, is so thrilled already. So thank you. All right, so we're going to open up to questions. If you will type in your questions, I'm going to pick some of them. Um, one of the ones that I'm already seeing, Beth, is, and this isn't for you, but they just said, will you send out a recording of this? Great news, you guys. We are recording it, and we'll be sending that out, so you'll get that for sure. Um, Cheryl said that she lives in a small town, Beth. And she said, how do you handle if two brides are VIPs and know each other? So, cause you say, you know, hi, I'm Colleen and you've been selected as the VIP bride. So how well, do you get around that? I say you're one of our VIP brides. Yeah. Yeah. They That's have no idea. They don't know how many brides are selected and they don't need to know. Maybe you only have two, maybe you have five, yeah. um, but you do want to make them feel special. And so like, wow, you guys both won. Oh my gosh. You know, <laughs> um, but again with the small town. Okay. So I was in the Springs. Um, and now my dad still lives there. And then I mean, when I was, uh, younger, my younger days, I used to drive everywhere. I used to, I went to Fort Collins and it's sorority. I went to Pueblo. And so like, if I had people there, I would get people in those zip codes. And so still now, um, that month, I'll look at my calendar and be like, oh, well, I'm going to go down to see my dad this day. Let's get some Castle Rock, like Castle Rocks in between Denver and Colorado Springs. So like, I love the zip codes because you don't, and now like you could get zip codes out of your state. If you know somebody there, you can do a Facebook party or a Zoom party with them too. So the zip, the, um, somebody's telling me I'm hilarious. Yeah, I'm good. I'm glad I'm entertaining, you know? Um, but yeah, different zip codes. We have no territories. Why stay in one place? If you're sick of those people, go to somewhere else, you know? Exactly. I don't know if I've ever told you, Beth, but I grew up in Colorado. I grew up in Broomfield. Do you know where that is? Yeah, that's where I'm getting married, actually. Oh my gosh. How awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I Beautiful. I didn't tell you yesterday. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to tell her I've been, you know, I've lived a lot of my life in Colorado. So that's so, you know how it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. So are you saying to, and no one's asked this yet, but maybe they will. Are you primarily going to them? You don't have them come to you. Is that correct? 
Primarily, yeah, I, I, I do offer, but um, usually they just want me to go to them or a friend's house, you know, um, and it does work better as far as um, having them hold the appointment if you go to them too, because um, I've tried it both ways. And if they're coming to you, they can always pull out all the stops like, oh, I got a meeting. Oh, I'm this. But if, you know, you're already on the way to their house, um, it's just a little, well, it's easier for them too, because they don't have to go anywhere. Um, but yeah, I, I, it depends on the conversation that I have with them usually. I usually don't just invite, you know, random strangers over. You know, you have to be careful. You have to use your discretion um, as far as qualifying those, those people. And if not, you know, you can meet somewhere else. I mean, I have done bathroom facials in Panera before. So, um, I don't wear, I've been fully vaccinated since February. Um, but I do still ask them, do you want me to wear a mask? Do you not? Um, I basically just go by the, whatever the rules are, you know, usually the rules, but, um, out here now that we have that mask mandate lifted um if I'm in their home we're not I'm not wearing a mask so before um I was wearing a mask and they were not but I was across the kitchen table like we were distant and that's so great when I was an esthetician I wouldn't even have had a job last year for touching people but now we we have always had the sanitary disposable we don't get years you know so that's what's so great about that too but um it's up to the mask thing is it's kind of depending on your own personal um thing and whatever that they are comfortable with too i love that okay so thank you um let's see oh cheryl said how do you do the hot towel with charcoal mask because you explained how you do microdermabrasion can you describe how you do it with the charcoal mask? Yep, it's the same thing. Um, I just come come around behind them. I let them know I'm gonna put it on their face very, very gently. And then they take their hands and kind of put it up on their face. Um, now there's two ways you can take it off. You can either just have them kind of wipe it off or excuse me, you're gonna have them actually put their hands like press their hands all the way into their face and peel it off. And then they can actually see all the stuff on their, that came off of their face. I do those two treatments because those are the ones you can see immediately, like the charcoal mask, you can, um, the pores, you know, all the stuff in there. When I do the microderm, I do have to say that I only do it on half of the face. I say, I'm gonna be so mean to you gals. I'm only going to do it on half. Um, and they, the and they just giggle, you know, and like, can we do the other half? I'm like, no, nope. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let them do the other half. They won't buy it. You know? <laughs> yeah. So hot towel is the same way. Yeah. With the charcoal. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions for Beth? You guys have her for about four more minutes. And um, please utilize this time. So are there any other questions that you can think of before we get off? I'm trying to think of uh, any questions too that I had that we, that I see on common things. Um, it sounds like you work with brides because that is what your, um, in your stage of life, I know that you had talked about that you said, I might move to pregnant mommies when I start having kids, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, you just don't know, right? Yeah. But I think it's so good but, that you can connect. Right, yes. And that's what I was saying, you know, not only just, we have so many options and so many ways to make things work um, the way we feel most comfortable. I don't have kids yet. So, you know, to probably go with the, you know, to, I don't know what it feels like to be pregnant, but I do know what it feels like to plan a wedding for a long time, you know? And so 
I can relate with that. But I was telling, I was sharing with Kelly that it just, it does make a difference. Look at what stage of life you're in, you know? And I think it was Jordan Hulu that was saying this on one of the million dollar messages, but she's like, who's your ideal client? You know, Do, are you, what stage of life are you? And, you know, I have kids, I'm looking for parents that have kids and we can do things together and I can kind of, you know, market in, in little ways here and there at mom's groups and stuff like that. And it just made sense to me, you know, it just fit, it fits in. And so just take a look at your life and just, what do I want? Who do I want to work with? And you have, you can pick brides, pregnant moms, birthdays. You can pick what zip code you can pick. If you get their phone number or their email, you can, you can pick all of those things. And, you know, once you already have, you know, them booked, the last thing I have was just put them into your Mary Kay customers, like the day of, um, and I, I always say like, oh, well, you know, here's my website. And just, just in case you want to browse and put some things on your wish list that you can redeem with your gift certificate too. So I love who that. do you talk to at senior homes? Yeah, do you want to? Yeah. Um, I actually, I've done a lot of senior homes before, um, but not so much now because I'm really busy with brides, but I would, honestly think it's about the same. You probably don't need to do as much, probably just, you know, cleanser and moisturizer, I would think, or just an eye cream. I've even sometimes with the senior homes, put the mint bliss on their neck and just, you know, I mean, honestly, they're easy. <laughs> they're easier than uh, the brides. So those you should have a pretty good time with. And of course, if they have their family joining, that's great. Yes. I was going to say too, you know, I don't care how old you get, you still want to look young. I mean, my mom is yeah. six and I swear she just always wants to stay young. So she's always like, what can I do to stay young? It doesn't matter how old you yeah. are, you still want to stay young. Yeah. So I would really focus on that for sure. It absolutely always says that too yeah so um yeah. alberta yeah. asks how do you take their orders do you take them in another room like when you do your individual clothes can you touch on real quick the group clothes and the individual clothes because i know that's another big hurdle that a lot of women you know deal with is that that sales part yes so the group clothes, um, you know, I was, I do it a bunch of different ways, but this is generally the um, module, if you will. But after we're done, you know, you just ask them, how is your skin feeling? Um, everybody, and you, you touch your face and everybody's touching their face. And like, oh man, it feels so good. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to recap real quick, show you what we used on your face and they all have the set sheets. So whatever set sheets you use, um, you know, you have them in a placement or at least next to them. I do go off, I do use a set sheet, even if it's just the beauty book insert, honestly. Um, I, you, we, have, we're, we are known for selling in sets. And so um, I just say, okay, you all have your things here. So we're gonna take a minute. We're just gonna close our eyes and I can send you this script um, too. It's been around for ages, but, Basically, um, close your eyes and imagine like you're getting ready to go, you know, like I usually use the wedding and you're going to buy the dress and you're going to buy the shoes and you're going to buy the, you know, tiara, whatever, you know, just add up how much that would be. Just add up how much that, that your outfit would be. I mean, you are looking so good and they're like visualizing. They're like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, when you have your number of how much you would spend just for fun, I just want to hear it. Let's hear it open your eyes and say, and they're like, oh, girl, at least, at least a thousand. I mean, you know, and they'll all say their number. And then I'm like, um, you know, uh, okay, now, now close your eyes again and imagine your best friend. What was she wearing? And they're like, I don't know. I'm like, right. You only saw her face, right? You only get one face for the rest of your life. And here I am today to help you take care of that and personalize everything for you. You cannot use the words personalized, customized. You can't even use those enough. People want 
that, that. You know, they don't want to go and look at a wall of foundation. Do you want to go and look at a wall of foundation? You know, um, so I hope that that answered. Did I answer the full question? I forgot what was the whole about question. That. Is there anything special? So I love the group close. Is there anything special that you do at the individual close? Or oh, do you, the yeah, individual. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so then um, then I just go through, so after they open their eyes, it's in a number, I talk about that, they're like, oh man, she's right. And then I just go through the sets. I'm like, this is what we use today. This is what you have in your face. And then these are the other sets available. So I do just touch on those really quick. And then I say, I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let you guys relax, talk, shop. Um, and when you're ready, the first person can come over. I'm gonna be over here and usually, of course, it's probably like in a different area. I mean, it's like if the kitchen is over here, I'll be in the living room. So it's definitely separate. Women do not want to talk about finances in front of each other, you know? And so, um, and you can get more with them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and so I just say, bring your set sheet placemat, you know, your, and your profile card. Um, Cause I still, when I'm not doing a virtual thing, I still have them actually fill out a, you know, real profile card. So um, they they come with, you know, those two things. Um, also, I do play a referral game in the middle there. Well, um, before the before the makeup, after the skincare, before the makeup, because I'm like setting up for the makeup, and I'm just like, hey, turn your cards over. Whoever has the most names and numbers, you get this free gift. Just gift your friends a free facial makeover. So I, I always get referrals that way. I mean, sometimes I don't, but I will rebook them and I have their guest list and that's a referral sheet there. Um, and then I just, when I'm in the individual clothes, I just say, did you have a great time? How does your skin feel? What did you like the best? What, did you, what do you want to take home? What's on your wish list? You basically just look at their back of their profile card. So what's on your wish list? What's on your take home list? Is that what you want to take home today, or, or, or do you want to add some things from your wish, wish list on there? You know, um, or what set do you want to take home? You know, so um, it's really easy. They'll tell you. You add it up. I mean, if they get a twenty dollars gift certificate, I just minus it from the total. Um, and if they, you know, won the free gift, I give them the free gift for the referrals. Um, I do show the roll-up bag, of course, because everybody loves the roll-up bag. And then at the end, I'll give the hostess her free gift for giving the people together. So whatever that gift is, it's a hand cream, I'll be like, and then you guys can book your own party too. Just even if you don't have anybody show up, you still get a gift. So I hope that that helps because it's basically everything that we're taught, but we're just, we're kind of we're relearning in new ways. I felt like a new beauty consultant this whole COVID time, but it's the same. It's like, you know, the same things that we've been doing for a long time, just, you know, re-energizing those muscles and some new muscles too. Oh, I love it, Beth. It's so helpful because I know that people, these are the things that you're touching on are the points where they struggle. And if you guys caught that, Beth is assuming that they want something and it's not pushy, it's not salesy. And that's what I love about it. It's just saying, you know, what is it that you, what's on your wish list? What do you want to take home? What do you want to add to your, or is there anything you want to add? I love that. And uh, I think that makes all the difference. Again, it's just assuming why wouldn't they, if their skin looks and feels great, because let's be honest, most people don't have good skincare programs. Um, it's a big difference, right? And they look at you, your skin is gorgeous. I'm sure they're like, okay, I just want her skin. <laughs> and you know, everyone in Mary Kay, your skin is gorgeous. I just have to tell you that you've got to remember that it makes a big difference. All right, let me see if there's any other last things before we wrap up. I know um, Alberta said, uh, oh, do you do, and I think I know the answer to this, but you give them the option. They either get to choose the microdermabrasion or the charcoal mask, right? You don't do both. 
I don't do both. Okay. I don't do both. Um, if they want to do the charcoal mask, we will do it next time. If they do the microdermabrasion. Um, I did just have one other thing that's come to mind. And I have, I have said this for a long time, but it's now more important than ever um, that you initially, um, and plus, of course, we're all in Mary Kay, so we can do our research, but it is so important that you let people know that we are out of Dallas and that we are privately manufacturing all of our products. We are privately manufacturing everything here in the USA. And I talk about how uh, the half a million tests that we do. I talk about the quality of ingredients that we go by the EU standards. We have 1300 patents. I talk about all of that to legitimate, like to, to let them know why Mary Kay is so different. The products are great, but if you don't start off with that, just letting them know those little bits. Um, it, I, I just feel like it's made such a difference in my sales because I have touched on that before, but since COVID, I think people are really, really wanting to know where things are coming from, what they're putting on your face, where their money's going, letting them know it's our manufacturing plants, eco-friendly, wins tons of awards. We have the Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation, letting them know those things, it's made such a huge difference. It builds my confidence, it builds their confidence. And why wouldn't you say those things? You know? So I don't think I said that before, but it is one of the biggest things that um, that I've implemented now in my um, skincare classes and virtual too. So it just gives you credibility. I mean, I think that's right. one of the other important things that even when you are calling them, and we've talked about this before in other webinars is, you know, sending them a picture, sending them the bridal registry logo. So then right. talking about these things, like you're a real person and, you know, this company is real and it's been around forever and it's credible, you know, and look at all, you know, I would even make a recommendation is look at all the stars that are using Mary Kay because everybody wants to follow what's in and trendy and what are the stars doing. So if you can do those things, it makes a big difference. Awesome. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that that all was uh, helpful and and I can send whatever I said I was going to send. Um, I can't remember what it was now. The the individual, oh, the group clothes, the yeah. the walking them through the, you know, getting dressed and the outfit costs. Oh, and yes, like yes, that. yes. Yeah, that'll be awesome. We would love that. Um, one last question, if you don't mind. Denise says, how do you make them at ease after the bad rumors? So I'm not familiar with the bad rumors of Mary Kay. Um, do you know what maybe you with them either? <laughs> no, maybe it's just in yeah. your area, Denise. Maybe you could touch on that. While she's typing, I will ask one other question if you don't mind, Beth. Um, they said Cheryl asked, what color towels do you do with the charcoal mask? Do you still use the white ones? Um I actually have some gray ones that I use, but I also have bleach, so I can use the white ones um, and the, it, it gets out. Mm. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um, oh, Denise said insects being used in the products because they were made outside the USA. Have you heard of that one? I haven't. Um, that's not true. <laughs> Okay. That's not true. Everything that's made and manufactured here um, goes through half a million tests. And I don't know if you've been down to Dallas and talked to the scientists, but um, most cosmetic companies only do 100 to 200,000 tests a year. And we don't know actually how they do those, but we actually have live skin and they get biopsies from other hospitals. And so they're, they're testing on so many different types of skin. They test every single piece of ingredient and then they send it away by a third party to get tested. Then it comes back. Then they put it in the formula. Then they test the formula. Then they send the formula away to get tested again. 
then it comes back, then they test it again before it goes out in the line. So I don't know what you're talking about with all those insects, because even in every manufacturer, we're in 45 different countries, you know, and we're privately manufactured. Other people that are, that don't have their own manufacturing facility, there were probably tires manufactured in there before the makeup. And they don't even know what they're putting on their face. Wow. So really just do your research with Mary Kay, read the facts, read the facts. So, and don't believe other people's rumor. Like don't, don't believe other people's rumors at all because they don't know what they're talking about. I literally, my friend was like, Oh, look at this new makeup. I'm not using it because it's horrible, but like, I just want to support my cousin. And, and she's like, let's find out where it is. So it said, cruelty-free, paraben-free, all this stuff. And then it said manufactured in China. When I was like, there you go. There's no way it can be cruelty-free. The We are like the only company that's in Shanghai and Hong Kong that have our own private manufacturing facilities and are helping them in a communist country do other ways of testing. Wow. And we're the only people over there doing that, building their economy up. So anyway, just do your research. Yeah, it's so yeah. important because you've got to be knowledgeable about what you're doing and do that research. It makes a big difference. And there is a whole, yeah, and there's a whole thing on, um, on your, yeah, they have, um, if you're looking for PETA and like all that stuff, they have a whole article on everything that we're doing over there, like to help with everything over with all the regulations that they have being com being a communist country. So yeah. I've had a lot of questions about that lately, just because we're wondering, um, because people are wondering where things are coming from because of COVID. They're wondering what they're putting on their face. Let me tell you, most people don't know what they're putting on their face. So we can help them with that. Yes. Personalize and customize key points that you yes. brought up for sure. Well, Beth, thank you so much for your time. Ladies, I'm sorry we have run out of time. If you, um, so I'm sorry we didn't get to all of the questions, but I want you, if you could, to type in the chat box a big thank you to Beth for taking so much of her time, being so go give and gracious. She said she's been in a lot of her life, we were talking about this yesterday, or a lot of Mary Kay in a go give area, correct? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so she, and you can tell that she willingly wants to give and help others. And Beth, thank you so much. I can't even begin to tell you, I know, and start looking at the chat box because people are going <laughs> to be telling you, thank you so, so much. It makes a big difference. You know, there's so many people that want to really make their Mary Kay business work and they for whatever reason get stuck or they're struggling and these kind of things really help so truly thank you thank you thank you thank you well it's all my pleasure and I hope it helps everybody and blesses your business because this is the time girls this is the time to do it yes awesome so as we wrap up, I just want to tell you, because I just remembered someone asked this earlier and it just popped back into my mind. I'm sorry. Ordering just opened today. It is open till next Tuesday at nine o'clock Pacific time in the morning. It will close at noon Eastern time. And so if you are looking to build your business and grow your business, I think there's one more key that I keep seeing in everyone that we share that shares and has success. They focus on at least a hundred leads a month. I keep hearing that over and over again. That's a big deal. Yeah. All right, okay. Beth. Well, you are amazing and wonderful. We are so excited to see where all of this takes you. I would be, I would not be surprised if we see you as the next national with under your arm so that I know she would be tickled pink about that um, and best of luck to your wedding please I want to see pictures so if you think of me I'd love to see them <laughs> absolutely yes awesome. all right you guys well thank you everyone for being on tonight and again Beth thank you you're wonderful
Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.